Welcome back for Christians. This is the first Friday of Lent, traditionally a popular day for seafood dishes, especially fish and chips. And new this morning, Kate Walsh is taking us to a local fish and chips restaurant that's been celebrating 100 years in business. Ye Old English Fish and Chips restaurant in Woonsocket thrived from the start, the owner said, because it was in a French area and on Fridays they preferred to eat fish, especially during Lent. He said the pandemic has hit them hard, but he's hopeful they'll rebound this Lenten season. You don't even need to take a full step inside Ye Old English Fish and Chips in Woonsocket to know how it stood the test of time. My mother worked. 95 here. The aroma of homemade fish and chips and chowder awakens your stomach, but you also get a history lesson of Woonsocket, both through the photos on the wall. My son Stephen sitting right there. And, if you're lucky, from the stories told by owner Gordon Robinson himself. Oscar, thank you. My nickname is, is most of the people call me the mayor because <laughs> I'm blessed with a memory that I can remember people I haven't seen in 40 years. Whether it's a story of a veteran singing opera in the restaurant or a brawl that broke out over a line cutting, Robinson has seen it all. He's seen this restaurant grow for most of the past 100 years it's now been open and says one thing remains the same. The recipe, the recipe. My grandfather came from Bradford, England, and uh, he brought the recipe to the fish and chip that he started in Oneyville Square in 1916 in Providence. In 1922, he then came to Woonsocket to start his business. It started as a way to make money during the Depression. 1922, officially, our anniversary is in May. Up until the pandemic, the biggest challenge, Robinson said, was fishing regulations put in place over 30 years ago. We now get our fish because it's unregulated from Alaska. So every week it's shipped here to New England from Alaska. Then it's filleted on this day by his son Stephen in the back kitchen before it's brought to the fryer. That, Robinson said, is where their secret recipe goes into effect. They make their own French fries and also a special dish. This is what you call fish cake. Fish okay. cakes is brought here by my grandfather from England. It's two slices of potato with broken fish in between. Robinson's anxiously looking forward to sales during Lent, adding that the pandemic and inflation have hit them hard. Prices have just gone out of sight. It's and it's very hard to justify remaining in business. Gordon said he's currently working on a book, a memoir with stories and history of this establishment. I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.